right guys, I have a great one for you today. You know, lately I've been hearing tons of people talking about how difficult it is to find a single family new construction home that's relatively affordable. The Charlotte market has been creeping up uh, quite a bit in regards to its pricing. You know, it, over the past couple of years, I believe Charlotte has been priced fairly well compared to other markets across the country. But Charlotte is definitely starting to get up to par comparing to some of those other metros. But I have to say, I think I have a great option for you here. Um, today, I'm gonna be going over Midland Crossing. Now, I think this is gonna be a great option to get you in the door in a relatively affordable, you know, 300,000 to 400,000 price range that I think a lot of, uh, you know, maybe first time home buyers or even investors would be super happy to hear that number and get a decent amount of square footage uh, for their buck. So uh, you're gonna wanna stick around for this one. I think it's gonna be a great one for you. guys now welcome back so as i mentioned midland crossing is a single family community uh and it's gonna have a great price point that you're gonna want to check out so be sure to stick around but this community just recently had its grand opening now i've been driving by this area for quite a while off of 24 27 and they have just not broken any ground but they finally have broken some ground and they got these model homes up and i'm excited to present this over to you so they're going to be offering nine different ranch and two-story uh floor plans to choose from now these plans are going to include 
include anywhere from three to six bedrooms and two to four bathrooms with square footage ranging from 1445 to 3147 square foot. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Will Simino. I'm a new construction expert with Dreamline Realty here in the greater Charlotte market. So if you're looking for new construction, we've got you covered. You better hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be going over all the new construction communities in and around the area. And YouTube has shown me that a lot of the viewers that are viewing our channel are not subscribed. So you wanna stay updated, you wanna know all the options out there, I've got you covered. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if it's helpful for you. And also I'm very knowledgeable about this area. I'm literally, you know, five minutes, not even five minutes down the road from this community. So I can help assist you and get, you know, the information that you need on this uh, particular area. Midland and Locust itself is gonna start having a lot of growth over the next year. There's a new construction community, Pine Bluff, that's only about seven minutes down the road, if that, just off of 24, 27 as well, from this Midland Crossing community. That's gonna be a relatively similar price point as well. Um, so again, you're gonna wanna subscribe to keep up with that. But I, like I said, I'm right down the road from Midland, Midland Crossing right now. I'm gonna be building my custom home 10 minutes down the road from it as well. So very familiar with that area and I think I can help you out with this area as well as all the other uh, greater Charlotte regions that I've covered in all my videos. But right now, I think there's a lot of potential and a lot of growth that's gonna be moving out to this Midland Locust Lok area. So be sure to stick around for a quick little map tour that I'm gonna hit on um, towards the end of the video where I'm going to go over some brief little things based on you know what I've experienced you know some of the parks around here that I bring my kids to um, there's a park right down the road from this uh, neighborhood that is pretty awesome it's one of the biggest parks in Cabarrus County so I'm going to briefly go over that so this community itself uh, Midland Crossing will offer a picnic area walking paths and a community garden and that will all be included in the low low $835 annual HOA now pair that along with a very well-built Energy Star certified home and your monthly payments are gonna be very, very low. And you can focus on just paying down that principal and not worry about the extra cost of uh, you know keeping up with your home or anything like that. And no high HOA fees here. Now this community is gonna hold 129 total lots and they've actually already sold nine so far. So uh, with that being said, I just pulled up whenever they had that grand opening of this model home and they already had sold signs around the around the block. So that just proves to you how quickly this mar Charlotte market is like I was saying and prices have gone up. So um, it's good to get in while you can and start building equity. Uh, because prices just keep on going up in the Charlotte market with the demand that's there and the low inventory situation that we're in. But in this specific community that I've been mentioning, you can expect prices to range from the mid 300 thousands uh, to the mid 400 thousands. And they do currently have uh, move in ready opportunities that's gonna be closing around May time frame if you're watching this as I release it. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for something relatively quick, this is gonna be a great option for you. And along with that, right now as I'm shooting it and it changes daily, they do have three of those move and ready homes uh, actively listed on the MLS. So I've dropped a link in the description below that you can check out that's gonna be active whether you're watching this video you know, today or two years from now. Um, it's still gonna show you all the active inventory in Midland Crossing. So be sure to go check that out. It's gonna show you all the active inventory that is currently out there and you can see the current pricing but what i want to do for you now i've been talking your head off uh, but hopefully this information is helpful for you again if it is hit that like button that helps us out a ton and also in the description below we have our new construction reports which our clients have loved so if you're looking for new construction you want to be up to date on all the price reductions on any inventory based on your criteria you can go in there and tweak it however you would like whether you're looking at you know uh charlotte all the zip codes that you're looking for uh, different counties, zip codes, all that good stuff. You can go tweak it what you're looking for and we'll give you updates so you can stay up to date on everything changing because it's changing so fast you have to be right on it. So be sure to go sign up for those. We've had nothing but good feedback on that. But along with that, if you have any questions, um, you know, schedule a Zoom call with us. That's our by far our favorite thing to do and our most beneficial for our clients as well. If you're able to reach out, you can scan this QR code here or in the description below as well. We can schedule a quick little Zoom call around your, your schedule and uh, go over your wants and needs in a home and I can get, send you a bullet point list on all, I, I have a spreadsheet on all the new construction communities around the area and I can send you that uh, so you make sure that you have all the options covered based on your specific criteria because it can be a little bit overwhelming with all the options that are out there and how fast they go. So I wanna make sure that you know uh, everything there is to know before you make this large um, financial decision and your next move 
uh, that you're making the right one. So be sure to check out that Zoom. We'd love to hear from you soon. But all right, enough of me talking. I know I've been talking your head off, but hopefully it was helpful. If it has been, hit that like button, please. That helps us out a ton. And also be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you this ranch model home, but they do have a two-story single family home um, that they're going to be releasing as a model. So I'm going to be going over there. And right, like I mentioned, I'm right down the road. So if they do get any of those, you know, quick moving opportunities that are inventory homes, um, I'm going to go out and try and show you all the different floor plans walkthrough wise. So you want to uh, keep up with everything going on in there. So be sure to subscribe for that. But enough of me talking, let me get you inside this ranch. All right, so as mentioned, I wanna hop in here and show you a quick little map tour of some of the little hot spots around here that you would most frequently be checking out. So uh, let me hop in here and show you. So right here, you can see the satellite view of uh, Midland Crossing itself. You're just off of 2427. Um, so that's a four lane highway, uh, but that's gonna give you easy, easy access into 485. Uh, so let me zoom out of here and just a tad and kind of show you where we're at in relation to Charlotte. So um, hopefully you can have a good sight right there. You can see Charlotte uh, is right here and we are just on the east side right now of Charlotte. So you see 2427, that is going to be a direct drop into uh, Uptown Charlotte. So if you're working in Uptown Charlotte, it's gonna be super convenient um, dropping you right in right there. Um, and then also if you're working at you know other hubs around here, um, you know, you can hop on in there, <clears throat> you can hop on 485, uh, you can get to 485 in about, you know, uh, 10 minutes or so, uh, it's really, it's 40, uh, it's 55 miles an hour, pretty much the whole way. So it's a nice, easy drive. But once you get on 45 as well, you're going to be anywhere you need to be in about 20 minutes, which is super nice. Um, but another nice convenient thing with where Midland is located. I am just zooming all over the place, but you can see 601 is going north and south right here. Um, so you can get to uh, downtown Monroe in about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. And then there's all these options down here in uh, off of 74, there's tons of shopping, there's um, Target, there's all the cars you can find, <laughs> plenty of car dealerships down there. Uh, restaurants, downtown Monroe itself, we got breweries and everything like that. Uh, but pretty much, I mean, you're every day, you're gonna be spending. Um, there's not too much to do in the, like the town of Midland itself. There are some, you know, nice local restaurant joints and things like that. Uh, one thing you're gonna wanna check out is the Sunday shop. Everybody goes there. Uh, old school, you know, uh, just grabbing a Sunday, um, ice cream, uh, soft serve, and uh, grabbing a hot dog or burger, and you're good to go. And <laughs> very cheap prices uh, for everything that's out there right now. Um, but you're gonna be spending a lot of time in Locust itself. So over here, you're gonna see there's a lot of commercial right here over by the Walmart. The Walmart, that's where we do all of our shopping over here. And then you have McDonald's, you have Jersey Mike's, you have a Mexican restaurant, and just behind it, you have a uh, red bridge golf course so i love playing there one of my favorite courses especially because it's right down the road for me you have a tractor supply um and then you have food line and then you have the downtown locust which just opened a brew room that's a great got some great bites over there uh great beer selection on tap uh and they have honestly some really good you know kind of uh, appetizers as well as meals um, there, which is really good as well. So uh, you also have Sogo's there also, um, so you can get some Japanese food, very, very good. And then you have a great soft serve ice cream on this uh, backside as well, not soft serve. You have a great just ice cream joint on the backside. Um, so a lot is around there that you can take advantage of, but one of the best things is seeing this 601, like I mentioned, you can take it to downtown Monroe, but I didn't mention it can get you into downtown Concord. I literally did it the other day. It was 20 minutes on the dot, which is really nice. I thought it was gonna be a little bit longer, but 20 minutes on the dot, get you in the downtown Concord. A lot of options that you can do up there, go up to Lowe's up there, or you can go into downtown, um, you know, Mint Hill. That's not a bad drive at all. Take 2427 and that'll drop you off right there. And just for your reference, if I put that in there, let's just say we're wanting to go to Mint Hill. That is going to be right now a 14 minute drive. Um, and then there's also, you know, a Costco and a lot of other things in Matthews. So, you know, we've done some of our shopping over there. That's just gonna be a little bit longer. You're looking at about a 22 minute drive. So there's gonna be a lot of different options that you're gonna really kind of narrow down once you're in the area and you figure out what shops you wanna go to. But everything's gonna be in about 10 um, minute drive if you're going outside of Locust. If you're going into Locust, it's only about a seven minute drive. You have everything you need right there in that Walmart Supercenter. But if maybe if you wanna go to a Costco or 
Um, you want to go to a couple different restaurants that are more uptown feel, you're going to go check that out. But really you have everything just a stone's throw away and locusts. But what I want to show you now, or actually let me just real quickly show you the drive time to Charlotte. So the drive time to Charlotte, you're going to be looking at from Midland Crossing, you're looking at 30 minutes on the dots. So like I said, that 24, 27 is gonna dump you right in and it's you're really kind of out of the hustle and bustle. It's nice and quiet over in this Midland area and Locust, but uh, you just have easy access to jump right into it. Um, so that's nice. But one of the best things, um, you know, it's a very family friendly spot right here. Uh, you have Rob Wallace Park right here. So let me zoom in. This is one of the biggest parks in Cabarrus County. So if I click right here, you can see it covers all this region right here. It goes all the way back. So it's a very, very nice park. They have a great playground um, and then they have a, a pond that you can fish at as well. So um, take my two kids there and they enjoy it more than anything going down those slides. Um, but it's right down the road um, from the neighborhood itself. Again, Midland Crossing is right here in this region. Um, and then they're actually going to, I believe, if I show you here, this little drop off, this second phase of the neighborhood is going to drop off right here in this community. And this community literally has like a walkway that uh, drops you off right in the front of the park as a, a walk, walking path. So if you're wanting to just have a nice family outing, just take a walk to the park or just, you know, have a nice walking routine or a jog in the morning, this is going to be awesome for you. So uh, a little bit more detailed than I usually do, but hopefully this uh, kind of helps you understand the layout of Midland Crossing and where everything is not that far away in relation to Charlotte itself. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. Alrighty guys, well thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope all of this information was helpful. If you have any questions or if you wanna go check out this community, like I mentioned, I'm not very far away at all. I can schedule an appointment with you. I can schedule an appointment with Canon sales rep over there for you in a jiffy and uh, get you in the door to figure out if this is gonna be a bit, the best fit for you. And if not, I'll be able to go over all the other options that are out there for you. But uh, again, if this was helpful, hit that like button and we hope to hear from you soon and we'll see you on the next one.